this particular example is an image that's taken from the Mercury newspaper. And it was a very small story, not uh, of no particular import. It wasn't, wasn't a world event or anything earth-shattering. But I wanted to take that narrative and the imagery that came from it and, and reinvent that narrative, redeploy it in, in a new way. So it's kind of a mixed up narrative. And I don't um, have any particular interest for the original story, but the kinds of stories that emerge out of this repicturing is what I am interested in. But I'm not willing to predict what they might be. Of course, those, those texts have images with them, so I, I keep the image but then the text is completely and utterly removed. So the detail um, uh, is, is removed, is, is erased and abraded, and then what remains is literally just a schematic pictorial account of that very small narrative. And when it's a very small narrative to start with, there's not much left. And at that point, you've got the opportunity to insert in all manner of uh, newer stories, and you know it can become quite me melodramatic, as this one is, with its you know dark colouring and so on. But um, that's that's where my interest is, and it, that stems from a childhood experience of of sort of, of reading stories and poetry more often than not, and getting it completely wrong. You know, I'd sort of read the words and have my own meaning for those words, but inevitably, the teacher would say, "No, I'm sorry, that's." That's not how we interpret that poem. And I thought, well, why not? You know, I've made sense of it, albeit my own sense. So this is me kind of making sense of uh, existing media narratives. Now we, we live in a world of multiple truths, you know, all equally accessible. Um, you know, from Google through to, to hard print literature, there are so many different truths out there that it's no longer possible to say that this is a fact, or at least, you know, you can always question what those facts might be. So in many ways, this, these works uh, make that claim, you know, question this, question this fact. It's very open-ended, so I don't particularly know where it might end up when I start that process of removing um, information. Uh, ultimately, the, the painting should be open to interpretation, that old cliche, but it, I do hold to it that it should be completely open to interpretation is what, um, what I'm going for. So however I get there by hook or crook, yeah.